At least he has held on to it, but right now they are going to give ground once again, just making sure not to overextend. That's so important. Another Hulk landed by Dream Casper. This man is a menace. Somebody's got to shut him down or at least take his bait away so he stops catching things because right now the overtime wick is burning and at least Florida Mayhem have somewhat, at least a little bit of presence here on the point. Logic's in the back line putting those shotguns to use. Uh, the grab did so much work early in this fight, so now it's just desperation and there's only one body left. That is Logic's who meets his demise. Hello everyone, this is your pal Nova Punk X, and I'll be leading this OAB tonight and we'll be talking about the Overwatch League. If you haven't heard of this before, we're going to cover that for you real quick. And if you've been watching the Overwatch League, we'd love to get your feedback in the comments below. All right, everyone. So the Overwatch League is a esports league that Blizzard has started surrounding the game of Overwatch, and they've gone a little bit of a different route uh, than normal esports leagues in that they had owners buy in to get into this league, and they created teams with coaches and everything, uh, really mimicking a real sports leagues such as the NFL or MLB. And I uh, just wanted to talk tonight with Kinky and Radit here about our thoughts. We've all three of us have been watching the Overwatch League as it opened this uh, last week, actually. And uh, we all enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, before I let them rip into you guys, I wanted to point out that uh, myself, I watch a lot of NFL. I watch a little bit of MLB. I know Kinky is an NFL fan. And I believe Radit is not a big sports fan, so getting his input here is also critical. And correct me if I'm wrong, Radit. Oh man, I got so freaking much to say about the Overwatch League. You're not wrong that I'm not a sports person, but I absolutely love how Blizzard is doing the league. I have invested probably about $200 so far in the league gear, and uh, I'm... I don't feel bad about that because I am supporting the team and the league and honestly I think that the way that Blizzard is doing the league is a step forward for esports and the gaming community in general like it's it's gonna bring people into the gaming sphere that aren't necessarily gamers just to watch the festivities and it's it's a huge step forward and I love it yeah I think it's really really cool that they built this kind of to mimic a real sports league as we know those are very successful so this could be a good for esports in general i uh, watched on and off all week i wasn't able to sit down and watch for more than a maybe an hour at a time but i really really enjoyed it and i didn't think i would i thought i would get bored with it kind of quick uh i'm i've also been really pumped about watching this i didn't think i was gonna like it at all first at first when i was reading about it and seeing all the stuff in game about it and stuff. And when I heard about it at BlizzCon in 2016, I think they announced that they were doing it. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible. It's just going to suck. And it's quite the opposite. It's been a lot of fun to watch. I can't believe I've watched as much as I have. I've sat down at my desk thinking, oh, I'm going to play some Overwatch or I'm going to play some WoW or something. And then all of a sudden, four hours later, I'm still watching freaking overwatch league it's been a lot of fun to watch and it is really cool what they're doing the only thing that i'd like to point out and i don't know if you guys know about this but their prize pools for this are ridiculously small compared to some of the other prize pools for uh esports e yeah to be fair they've they've kind of invested a lot in the entire thing itself I, I'm not surprised that it's pretty small, especially given that they don't know how much money they're going to make on all of the, the gear and whatnot, which the, the teams do get a cut of. Yeah, it's like 50%. What, I, what I'm trying to get at is it's it's not like it's a, it's like I, I know the first after the first five weeks is like they do it in legs. There's five week legs and there's like four legs, I think, before they get to the playoffs and the grand the. The price, the price cash is $125,000. When you look at what the League of Legends winning prize is, it's like $10 million. It's a huge difference. So do, do we know what they started at though? 
from what I understand though, and I could be wrong, I thought they were paying the players salaries like a traditional sports league. I, I didn't know about that. If they're doing that, then I take back most of what I just said. Yeah, and and the teams, uh, like all of those players are going to be getting bonuses and stuff based on how much their gear is selling and the skins in game. I've made sure to, to purchase all different types of things. I got skins and jackets and all that stuff just so that I'm at least supporting. I'm sure we could see some sponsorships coming in too. Like, oh, yeah. Like uh, HyperX or something. Dude, this is going to be huge like that. It's... But this is also like the skimping on the prize pools, though, is something that Blizzard is just known for. Like their prize pools at BlizzCon events are stupidly small. I would imagine that these players are getting more than their fair share of some change. Oh, I'm not I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying it's surprising how if if indeed that is the only money that's going out, which I understand is quite possibly not, then it's kind of ridiculous how small the prize pools are. That would be ridiculous if they're only looking for that plus the you know 5% of the sales because it's like 50% of the sales price goes to the team and that's split across 12 players and who knows what the team cut is and all that shit so yeah I mean could you it's could you imagine being on one of the other what what are there 12 teams could you imagine being on one of the other 11 teams in every single week and then boom that's 15 weeks wasted and you haven't earned a penny yeah, but that's not that's not the system that they've set up. So I, I, I really I know we're spending a lot of time on this, but I really don't think that's an issue because that's not how they set it up. Yeah. So um, the other thing I want to touch on is, in my opinion, they almost have too many games going on separate times. So I kind of prefer the way the NFL works, where I'm going to sit down and watch my team. I do sit down and catch other games occasionally but i really invested in my team so i want to sit down and watch that game but i feel like if i want to casually watch overwatch league like it's like four days a week and like five hours a day you can't really keep up with everything that's going on unless you invest a lot of time into it i mean you could still watch just your team but i do agree with you i do wish they had more games going on at the same time uh i think the reason why we're not having that at the moment is just because they don't have enough venues like they have at Blizzard's headquarters to play games like this. They don't have enough announcers to do games like this yet. I mean, I'm sure if, if technology were at where, where we're at right now and like the NFL had just started, I'm sure you'd see similar situations where most of the games would be played in one spot and they'd be broadcast all over the world. That's a fair point. There's also a lot of background things going on, like the stats guys and the uh, replay guys grabbing the replays for them to show on screen. And I saw some refs behind the teams and there's a lot of other things that we don't see going on. And I did also notice on the last stream I watched on Twitch, it said stage one and then it said like the team names or something. So I'm guessing maybe they plan to do this in the future, but it's something that I don't really like about it at the moment. I think they're just testing it, though. This is their inaugural season. Blizzard doesn't really know how big of a hit this is going to be, though 400,000 people on their first stream and closing around 200,000 average for their other streams. Yeah, you could say it's going to be pretty popular. So next, next league we'll probably see more stadiums, I would guess. I hope I, we do. I sure hope so. I think it'd be cool to actually put a stadium in their team city. Yeah. The other thing that I found out today is there's only like 20 bucks to go watch it, which is pretty sweet. They cap it at like 400 people, though. Well, that, I'm sure that's just a limitation on the arena Blizzard has. Yeah, so uh, anything else you guys would like to add on the Overwatch League? Uh, yeah, obviously London Spitfire is the best team. Fuck oh. yeah! <laughs> Nova's wrong, everybody. Spitfire's where it's at. I have to follow the Kraft family since I'm a Patriots fan. You can hate on me in the comments below. You suck! You suck. Alright, everyone. Well, thanks for checking us out again on our Over a Beer. And please, again, let us know in the comments below what you think of Overwatch League. We're excited to hear from both the traditional sports fans and the non-traditional sports fans. People who don't normally watch sports. 
Uh, we just want to know what you thought of the Overwatch League. If you didn't check it out in the opening week, it will be on again uh, tomorrow when this video posts. Uh, and running throughout the weekend. I think they're on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule. They play most like most of the afternoon, I think, from 4 p.m. Eastern to, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock at night Eastern. And there's different teams playing throughout the whole time. Um, pick out your favorite team and check them out, guys. Thanks again, everyone, and get good scrubs. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Hey there, this is Nova Funk X. If for some reason you enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button as it really helps the channel. We put out multiple new videos each and every week for your viewing pleasure. Also, feel free to throw some comments below and let us know how we did. Thanks for watching and get good scrubs.